Hi, I'm Mike Hanley with Cars.com. Cadillac's Escalade has long been known for its flashiness, but now it has a chance to be known as a green machine with the introduction of a hybrid model for 2009. The Cadillac Escalade Hybrid uses the same powertrain as the Chevrolet Tahoe Hybrid, and it gets an EPA estimated 2021 MPG City Highway with the rear wheel drive model, and that's a 67% improvement in city driving and a 33% improvement in combined overall driving. Stick around for a closer look at Cadillac's first hybrid. Since it's based on a regular Escalade, the Escalade hybrid looks a lot like that model. It's got the same chrome grille in front and stacked headlights. And as you move around to the side, you can see it's 22 inch chrome wheels. Now these though are optional on the regular Escalade. There also are plenty of hybrid badges to be found on this model. There's this one right here on the front fender. There's Another one back on the C-pillar, and also plenty of hybrid graphics, like the one on the windshield, the rear window, the side doors. So there's no question as to what you're driving when you're in this model. The Escalade Hybrid features a six liter V8 and a four speed automatic transmission that houses two electric motors. Those electric motors are powered by a separate battery pack, and they give the Escalade Hybrid the ability to move at speeds up to 25 miles per hour, so on electric power only thereby increasing city fuel economy significantly. The V8 itself also features fuel saving cylinder deactivation technology, but this vehicle still has the ability to do SUV work like tow a boat. It's rated to tow up to 5,800 pounds, which is good for a hybrid, but still about 2,500 pounds less than the regular Escalade can tow. The interior of the Escalade hybrid is much like the regular Escalade. It's a rather luxurious place to drive, but it also features some differences between the regular model. The standard navigation system features a hybrid power flow diagram so you can see how the system's working at any given time. There's also a special gauge in the instrument panel. It shows whether you're maximizing efficiency with the way you're driving at any given instant too. And look, there are more hybrid badges inside as well. There are also some things that we don't like about the regular Escalade that carry over to this model, like the cramped third row seats and minimal cargo room when that third row seat's in use. The Escalade Hybrid's $70,735 starting price represents a significant price premium, about $10,000 over the base Escalade. But not all of that money is for the hybrid system as this model comes with standard features like a sunroof, blind spot monitoring system, and cooled seats that are optional on the base model. And while its fuel economy doesn't have the wow factor of a Toyota Prius's, it is a significant increase over the base Escalade. So if you want to green up your next full-size luxury SUV purchase, you might want to take this model for a test drive. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.